I'm going to try to be stealthy for the rest of this mission because I feel like the start, I killed too many people. It, it shouldn't have been that difficult. And the noise, the background noise, you basically can't use it because it only lasts for like three seconds. On some of the other missions, you would get like 10. All right, right, right there. See that? We got to go quick. Please. That was a good shot, but I just missed the masking. So now they know I'm here. From my experience, I think you can get off two shots from the same spot and they won't know where you are. But if you get off that third shot, if you make it splash, then your cover is blown. So you have to move after two. It's all good because I'm going to move. I'm being smooth. There's a lot of people here. That's why we want to play it stealthy because I don't want to have to take down 50 people with 50 bullets. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> we got to get on to the next mission. <laughs> I ain't got time to kill everybody on this map. But if you do kill everybody on the map, then you're going to get that XP cheese because every kill is more XP. So maybe I should do that. I, I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, there's somebody here. Oh, no. Oh, right to the heart. I didn't know he'd be walking like that. The body of the pilot from the crash plane. This footage could be invaluable. I'm in a bad spot, though. Everybody's around me, it looks like. And they're coming in here, so we got to get up out of here. Is there a ladder? There is a ladder. I'm out of there. See you later. They don't see me. How did he not see me? Oh my god, a body! Shot, clock, cheese. They're searching, but I'm not there. I climbed up out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for them to leave and then I'm gone. Once again, playing stealthy is healthy. What maneuver could possibly be smoother than the way I escaped this area? See, that's what you gotta do. I need to play like this more stealthy. I don't need to take out everybody and engage in the fight with everybody coming. There's like a million people in this location. It makes sense because that's where they have their their little gun right there. And we've got to take out this bridge. So before I can do that, we got to go after the snipers. And they're all over the place. You can see them because they flash. They let you know they're there because of the glare, the flashing glare cheese. And that sniper is looking right at me. So maybe when I snipe him, I'll come back and blow that up. You see the glare? You see the glare cheese? He's letting me know that I need to shoot him. Ah, I went too fast. See, I tried to use that little sound mask, but it just doesn't work on this map. You just got to let it go. The timing, you have to be camping on that sound. You have to already be aiming if you're going to use that to your advantage. This sniper thinks he's slick. I see you. You can't escape. You can't hide. You're going down to the ground. And there goes another shot. I'm too slow. I'm still going to blow him up anyway. Why not? I scouted that out. Why not? Uh oh. Now they're scrambling. But the thing is, this place is so wide open. They have no idea who I am. They heard that, but they don't know. Sniper number two. This place is a fortress. Look at that sniping camp spot. He's got to go next. Is there anybody else? Because I don't want to be seen. So we got to scope one more time just to be sure. We already got that guy. There's another guy over there, but he's not sniping. So we don't have to worry, but we will have to worry when we go over there. Oh, there's another sniper back there. Look at that. I'm the real deal. I find all those snipers. You can't hide from me. And now I've got to be aggressive. I've got to get closer. And I got to take out these noobs. 
I can't let this happen. He's too slow. Take that. Ah, he made noise. He screamed. They're going to know about that. Ah. I should have been a little more stealthy. All right, we're going to be loud. We're going to be loud and proud. Got him. Uh-oh. Another guy is on the move. Everybody's on the move. That guy might be downstairs because I don't see him up there. I think this guy is coming from down. Yeah, there he is. I'm pro and there's nobody here. I'm tired of waiting. We got a pop shot. We got a pop. Do it quickly. Got him with the head shot. Let's go. And those guys are too far, so I don't have to worry about them on the left of the mini map. We're going to have some fun with this one. We're going to use that explosion. Got him with the pistol. Working on those pistol explosions to level up that gun. There goes the sound. We got to be quick, quickly, quickly. I guess it doesn't matter if I mask the sound now because there's barely anybody here. I took everybody out. I'm waiting on that sound. Come on, sound. I've been waiting all day. Shoot. Oh, here it is. Here it goes. Here it goes. We got to be quick as soon as it comes. Only two more in the bridge is safe. And we can figure this out. I might as well just take him out now. Make sure I get a perfect headshot. Got him. There's only one guy back there. One poor guy. One poor victim. That was great work. There's nobody here. There were so many guards in this location. We took them out one at a time. Stealthy. I was never seen. I was never even heard. And there's only one left. We're going to disrespect this guy. We're going to run right up on him. He's the only one left. We might as well. Can't go that way. It's got to be this way. Actually, we might as well snipe. I think you get more XP for sniping. And then we can work on the mastery of this weapon. So why not get another perfect headshot? And we're ready to get up out of here. We're ready to do this. To wreck the railway gun. It's time to move. And the thing about this explosion, obviously I can't be on the bridge. I'll kill myself. So it looks like I'm going to have to go over there where all the other guards are. And I'm going to have to shoot it from that angle to be safe. And it looks like all the optional objectives are in that area too. So maybe we'll knock some of those out on our way there. Is there anybody up here? It looks like there could be. We did take out a few, but I know we didn't take out everybody. I have to shoot because the game is not allowing me to jump over the train. I would have to move up there where they could see me jumping over, so we might as well just start sniping. That truck's carrying ammo. Stop it. So the truck's ammo must be an optional objective. And I wonder if you do every optional objective, does that make the end of the game easier? Because you're weakening them, right? Does it do that or does it really matter? Is it just for XP purposes? That's a good question. I, I don't remember in Sniper Elite 3 if the optional stuff made the missions easier later. I don't remember. I just know I did a bunch of optional stuff. Look at this guy. And apparently I can't shoot him through there. So we got to go like this. We got to get down to the ground. We got to go prone. Oh, look at that. And just like that, going prone, I cleared the way. Now I can jump up here, go to the other side. And it's a good thing I took out the sniper because remember that sniper was looking down on this area, but there's nobody to look. We just got ground soldiers. 
and they're not paying attention. They have no idea that I'm here. I'm on the move. I don't think we want to go in there. I think we want to go to the left. I should be able to take out the bridge from that sniper tower because the angle, it was perfect. On the other side, we had a great angle at him. So he, you know he has a good angle at us. So let's do it. Let's knock out this bridge. Or actually, I don't even see where I put the satchel. So maybe, oh no, I don't think, no, we do not have an angle. So I'm going to have to go this way. So before I can go this way, I got to have some sniping fun. We got to open fire. Let, let's start over here. These poor guys thought they were safe. I'm in a dominant position with suppressed ammo. They have no idea I'm here. I saved my suppressed ammo for this mission. I didn't waste it like last time. I might be able to eliminate everybody. I have plenty of ammo. This is beautiful. You can't run. You can't hide from smooth. You can't hide from this sniper fire. Look, look at this guy. They have no idea why I am. That is some cheese. Let's do this. There's nobody here, so I'll save the suppressed ammo. We don't need to waste it on a shot like this. And where am I supposed to shoot? Oh, it's right there. But they're not going to show that it's red, so we just got to guess, I guess. Okay, I can guess. Oh, never mind. It is red. Work on the partisans, Carl. OSS is mighty pleased. And what with that? And, uh, Sicily? Heard Operation Husky went pretty smoothly for you guys. Also heard Eisenhower has bigger plans. A, uh, mainland invasion. Ike always has bigger plans, Carl. The point is that we've poked the hornet's nest. Things are stirring. What things? This from your informant? Dorfman? No, not this time. This is straight from our boys in aerial reconnaissance. There's a dockyard down the coast from here. The Germans are moving something. Any idea what that something might be? There's a lot of security, so whatever it is, it's going to be darn valuable. Which is where I come in, huh? Got it in mind, my friend. We need specifics. What it is, where it's moving. And then what? Sounds like the Germans have got themselves a big operation. Husky means we've got some bombers in the area now. Once you do, but you have uh, gotta, well, why don't you just give them flyboys a nod? Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. Footage recovered from crashed observation plane shows multiple quantities of weapons being transferred to the Reno dockyard. Find that armory. Out. Red Fox out. Something on your mind? A man called La Terza. The harbor master. Friend of yours? A more venal, corrupt individual you could not hope to meet, except, of course, from that bastard, Bum. Not a friend, then. He's a traitor. Many of our people are sent to their deaths. Someone should, uh, make an example of him. Is that so? Ha <laughs> ha 
Does the angel know how bad it is? She's our leader. She has other concerns. Without her, we are nothing. I get the feeling she doubts herself. She stepped in when Burm's people snatched their father. He was an extraordinary man. He casts a long shadow, I understand. She's a worthy successor to her father. If only she knew that. So Bohm's people took him? No one ever saw a body. That's gotta be hard on her. It's not just that, Carl. OSS knew her father had been taken. But he wasn't classified a strategic asset. So they did nothing to help him. Nothing. Some looking blade. It was my father's. Was? Bum's people took him in the dead of night. There's been no word. Nothing. Ever since. I'm sorry. There is a quotation from a poet. A mighty flame follows a tiny spark. My father was a spark. That's why they followed him. The partisans? I didn't realize. He was my father. And their leader. It's a tough act to follow. Yes. It is. But unless I find the body, I won't stop hoping. Hope is what carries us through. Feeling good about your little victory at the Viaduct? Did as you asked. Thank you for that, Lieutenant. But the party's ends are hanging by a thread. We need ammo, fuel, medicine. Madre Madonna, we need a medicine. Typhus? It's sweeping Alagra. Some of our people are already showing signs of infection. We know the Nazis are transporting vaccines via the dockyard. If you could find out where it is. See what I can do. The next episode will come out when this video hits 10,000 likes. Oh, a backflip. That's a murder. Got him leaning. One more guy to embarrass, and then we're going all out. See if I can hit him in the head. Oh, I clocked him!